Are you trying to figure out the proper way to install ASUS Armory Crate, especially in 2024? I'm going to go to this straightforward method on how you do so, and I'll show you everything you need to know, especially when it comes to installing ASUS Armory Crate. Now, first and foremost, if you have any other RGB programs, such as IQ, Razer, Synop, just make sure you close out of anything that has to do with RGBs. You got to make sure to exit out of any RGB program because it may interfere with ASUS's software. Now, don't panic. You don't have to exit out forever and never go back into that application, but you have to exit out for now in order to properly install the software. So first and foremost, go to the description box down below as I will have the link down there for you to go to the ASUS page to download Armory Crate. Now, the reason why you might need Armory Crate is for various reasons. Now, when it comes to Armory Crates, it does have a, it does have a ton of different features in there, which makes it a lot easier for you to be able to update your software, update your hardware, and even mess with your RGBs most importantly. Especially if you have a ASUS motherboard, you're going to want to install it. Right here, we just downloaded the Armory Crate install tool. You're gonna go down here and you're gonna go to the installer. Right now, we're gonna extract it all. And reason being, we don't want a temporary file. We wanna make sure we actually have the real meat of it. So we're gonna go here and we're gonna right click it, run it as administrator. Yes. And now we're gonna install not only the org creator, but install Armory Crates. So we're gonna start this up and let it install. You might see your motherboard flash a little bit when it comes to the RGBs. It might kind of reset to, to the standard rainbow pew colors, but let Armory Crate install. And once it does, then I will show you everything you need to access in order for you to work this program correctly. Once it installs, you're gonna see something like this come up. It's gonna say Windows user account control. Armory Crate requires permission to complete the process. We can click I understand as we ran as administrator. So it's gonna check for updates. You're gonna let make sure Armory Crate does that. Once it does, it's going to install everything that your PC has to do with ASUS. So it's finally installed. You're just gonna go right to the setting side automatically. What we want to do first is go to the update center. I usually recommend coming here. With all the hardware that you have, whether it's a ASUS motherboard, graphics card, anything that has to do with ASUS, it's gonna come up on the update center side. So we're gonna click check for updates and whatever updates that you need per ASUS, you can just download it right here, which is nice and convenient. So it looks like for the most part, we're pretty much good on the update side. So we don't really have any updates to install, which is great. Now, for example, you can see that I have a TRX 48 gaming motherboard. Now it was just checked today of July 1st. It was last update, last updated on June 23rd. So you never have to worry about any of your hardware being out of date due to that. On the about side is going to be about what version of ASUS Armory Crate that you're on and the different services. You can even record logs if you need to. So first and foremost, on the top side, you're gonna to go to the dashboard and dashboard is going to be all about everything that your PC has. Like I have the AMD Ryzen Threadripper 3970X on this build. And on top of it, here you can see temperatures, you can watch frequency, and the usage of your CPU. Now, it might take a little bit of time to load up just like as it did, but here you can actually control fan speeds. You can even have worse sync. So they even, they made it a lot easier to control what you need to access right here in the dashboard side. They even have different profiles if you like to set it and you can even add a game launcher. On devices, this lets you know what type of ASUS software that you have on this PC. Now you can join the Elite program if you want, but I'm just gonna cancel out for now and cancel out the register now. But it's good to register all your ASUS products because and then you can protect it from ASUS's factory warranty, which is good to have, especially if you run into any issues. That way you don't have to 
worry about it last minute. So when we go into devices here, it's just going to load up what we have. Now, usually it will automatically select if your headers are either Gen 1 or Gen 2, and it will let you know if your motherboard does not support Gen 2 automatically. So you want to make sure to set it on your correct lighting. Over here is where it tells you how to connect the RGBs correctly to the header. Now you want to make sure that they are compatible because again, ARGB and RGB headers are different. But for now, most of the time that they are going to be mostly ARGB, but RGB is just short. Here you can go into different disk information about your SSDs that you have connected to your PC. And here is where you can go into Aura Sync. Aura Sync is where you can get into more details about all the ASUS ROG Ally, uh, all the ASUS ROG peripherals that you have. Now, the good thing is that ASUS will let you know if dynamic lighting is connected. If it is, it will interfere with ASUS ROG Armory Credit. And because of that, you want to make sure to have that disabled. And if any of your lighting is not on there, you don't have anything to worry about. Instead, you can go into the Aurora Sync, and here you can adjust your motherboard to your monitor, mouse, into your graphics card, and even your addressable LED strips. Here you go into Aura Effects, and you can set the different lighting effects that you would like for your PC, such as static, or breathing, or strobing, or color cycle. Now, here in the advanced effects, you can actually create your own type of RGBs that you want to. And it, it really, our ASUS really makes it really simple in order for you to do this. Now you can turn on in-game lighting effects, such as Metro Exodus is well known for that. And other games such as uh, Resident Evil or any other type of games that you would like to have a more 4D feel. Now static, you can set two different colors, or you can set a gradient color. Gradient just meaning it's just a color that blends, and that's gonna be something that you want to kind of mix in with, such as breathing. For example, I'll breathe red one second, and then blue for another second. And then you can even set the direction, which is really nice. You can set it vertically, horizontally, and even diagonally. When it comes to RGBs, it's no different than picking over 16 million colors you could really customize with. All you have to do is go onto the scale and select the color that you want. And if you really want to customize it, you can go into the R for red, green, or blue to automatically select the number that will perfectly blend with your PC. So let's get out of RGBs. I'm going to show you Game Library. What Game Library can do is it can find the different type of games that you have on your PC. For this build, I don't really have anything, but you can set different profiles for your PC build. You don't have to have one specific profile when it comes to RGBs. You can actually set it to different profiles and sync it to different applications on your PC. Another very useful tool is going to the tool side. Ironically, it's called tools. But anyway, you want to go over to the driver side and you want to make sure that you have the latest updates when it comes to your drivers, such as I need a new update on my Intel LAN driver. Make sure to go to your utility side because here you have some useful tools that actually comes with your ASUS motherboard or other products. You might even be able to get Adobe software completely free for a few months if you wanted to you just have to check on the utility side or manual and documents and it'll even tell you that it has individual kits that can come with your pc now the individual kits are different software that you can download into your pc but personally to me i don't really like to have too much of asus software besides only crates but here, go to the featured side and you can get deals on any of your favorite games, such as Elden Ring. If you want to get it for a great deal, you can. Just go on the game deal side, as ASUS does offer some great content on the cheap. Make sure you check out on the content platforms, as it features different wallpapers and themes that you can select completely for free when you check out Armory Crate. It also has a cool anime matrix that you can pick for your laptop if it does have that feature, or if you have any other peripherals that does. 
Now check out the recommended side as you can get some really free games and awesome stuff that you can take advantage of, but sometimes you might not want it, which is understandable. The redemption side is where you can receive any of your free games or free products such as Adobe Creative Software. Check out the, the news for all the breaking news when it comes to hardware and make sure you check out the ASUS store when you can. So fam bam guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And also, if you know anybody else who is struggling to set up ASUS software, make sure you share this video with them. And also, make sure you go down and hit the subscribe button for more if you're not part of the big wonderful fam bam. And also, make sure you follow my X handle right here as it is the same as my TikTok and IG as well. Fam bam guys, what do you love about Asus Armory Crate? Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Chris Pizzo signing out.